Uh, right now, the uh, the outlook uh, has been for not necessarily an earlier than normal onset of a fire season, but potentially higher than normal uh, potential fire season. Uh, what that would mean would be uh, right now we're looking at uh, initially over uh, here in the uh, early spring, uh, from southeast Colorado, we have a little bit of an increase uh, in fire activity, but um, getting into uh, later on the core fire season, it's uh, been looking like uh, southwest Colorado um, could see the uh, greatest uh, risk of uh, above normal fire potential moving into May. West of the divide in Colorado, um, the snowpack is uh, lower than average. And it's, although it's not extreme, it is 50, 60, 70% of average in, in the west of the divide and the precipitation has been low. Uh, drought is intensifying there. So um, that's, uh, right now the outlook's pinpointing southwest Colorado initially and then kind of uh, spreading northward and expanding uh, across uh, southern Colorado. The uh, shorter range of forecast models are still showing an, an active pattern uh, through the uh, remainder of the April and into early May and every time we get one of these weather systems come through that gives us some precipitation and cooler temperatures that window um, closes a little bit on the uh, duration if we do get an uh, above normal fire uh, it, that that window closes a little bit with each of these events that we've been getting so this it's not saying we won't be above but the uh, duration of the uh, potentially above average potential is the, uh, the probability of it being uh, longer decreases with each one of these storms we've been getting.